Here you can see the basic setup for loading a fuel tube. The rules are the same as before. Bare minimum. Really good PS2 dust mask, safety glasses and of course gloves. This is Cookery Corner. Here you can see we're pre-baking the fuel cores. Very hot. You can see how hot they are. You get heated up to 800 degrees centigrade. And they're just empty cores at the moment. The idea is to remove any moisture and to purge the surface of stray gas. Alumina, which is what these tubes are made from, has quite a high absorption coefficient for oxygen from the air. But by heating it, we drive it off and reduce the oxygen load inside the fuel core. Right, the next step we to actually load the tube. It's cooled down now after being in the furnace. This is the fuel mixture you may have seen me preparing in an earlier video. Nickel. Nano lithium and of course lithium aluminium hydride all mixed together and ball milled effectively in this little tube here. Another refinement by the way is to add hydrogen yeah, as a, as a gas before you put the wadding in. So here we've got a, a hydrogen generator running. This is based on catalytic carbon and produces thanks to the dryer here and the catalytic carbon and aluminium powder, which are all available from looking for heat. This produces a stream of dry hydrogen. I can feel the little draft on my face. And to top it up with hydrogen, all I do is put that in there for a moment. And while I do that, I prepare a little pellet of wadding. that's too you can you can just see perhaps the hydrogen bubbling up in the catalytic carbon flask yeah that's enough stow that out of the way and <laughs> if I don't drop it put the wadding in there that keeps the hydrogen comfortably at home and we can move on to the next step of sealing this one To seal the tube with cement, you will have already, I hope, seen the, the video about mixing Parker Moff cement. First of all, squeeze a little bit in there. Of course, you get a certain amount of air pressure inside the tube, which makes it reluctant. Then, this five millimeter screw, which is a really nice snug fit inside. Fill up the thread to a cement, not all the way, halfway is enough. That's a good tacky batch of cement, that's not too wet. I'm trying to keep the water vapor aspect of this to a minimum. There we are, I'm just gonna push that in there. And some things figure the best, aren't they? That's it. Seal that. Push it back in. There. Marvellous. Hold it there for a moment. And there you see a sealed tube. <laughs> there. I'm going to hold this down with a little bit of tape. The next step will be to leave this to cure in air for maybe another hour, just at room temperature. Here you can see I've just added a little bit of tape to, uh, <laughs> to stop the screw creeping out while the cement's still wet. And I'm going to leave that now to one side for, as I say, at least an hour, preferably two, and then it will be baked in the oven. 
It's a low temperature bake, 200 degrees centigrade. That, the idea of that is just to cure the cement. And after that, we'll be ready to move on to the next stage. Looking for heat internet store. We like to share the knowledge.